What's going on guys, Image Pranks here. Welcome <clears throat> to a different kind of video, something I haven't really ever done. Um, so, hey, I thought about doing it for a while and now I'm doing it. So this is a, a guitar show. Well, I say show, but it's just kind of show off. Um, so I'm just going to go through all the guitars I have. I have quite a few. I don't know if anyone knew that, you know, I play guitar. I've been in a few bands. I've been playing for a good few years. I've been playing since I was around 12-ish. So, hey, so I'm going to go in the order. Sorry, my voice has just got out. <clears throat> yeah. uh, I'm going to go in the order of what guitar I got first. And I've got it all written down here just in case I forget, but I doubt it. But um, I'm going to go in the guitar I got first and I'll tell you a bit about it, you know, what it looked like before I got it, if, you know, that's a thing. So uh, I'm just going to grab my first one here. I'm going to the wall. <laughs> Should have been more prepared for this, really. But uh, this is my first ever guitar. It is an Encore Stratocaster. It was just a uh, plain black. I'd say just like this one, but I don't have one anymore. I used to have three, but I sold one of them. And the other one's now a different color as well. But um, this went through a few changes. Uh, if you look on my Instagram, you'll be able to see it, but I'll just go through it now. Uh, for instance, uh, to the beginning, when I first got it, white pickboard, pickboard, yeah, pickboard will do. Um, <coughs> black finish, I had, I had a white knob, and these had knobs, and all that and the other. And um, these were all just three, all Stratocaster set up, just three single coils, but I've changed that. I'll let you have a look at that a bit more. So we've got um, we've got a humbucker in the bridge there. I'm not actually sure it is. I think I just found it in my uh, parts drawer. <laughs> Don't know where it came from. Uh, and then we've got the original single coil that's in there uh, with oh, the gold on there. Tasty tastiness. And uh, then we've got a Telecaster lipstick pickup in the bridge, which is really nice, especially with a bit of crunch on it. Um, but yeah, it's it's a nice. Um, Metallic, that's it. Anyway, from then, when it went from black, um, I decided I'd uh, paint the pickboard and make it a bit more. Ooh, look at that. I've got a strange track. No one's ever seen one of these before. Uh, but hey. And then I decided to be a bit more different with it. I decided to go with a different approach, something no one's, and not many people I don't think of, has gone with it before. But. Um, I pasted it all up and I wrapped it all with uh, wrapping paper, actually, which was like a spot uh, dyed spot <laughs> polka dotted um, paper. It was a white with different coloured polka dots on it. I'll put up like pictures and stuff that are on Instagram and shit like that. And you can go and check out that at the end of the video if you really want, or you can do it now. I don't really, I'm not that bothered, but hey, um, and it's got scratches all over the place, dinks on it from when. When it had the wrapping paper on it, I gave it a bit of um, a relicking job, so see if it can pick up. Like, this was, like, <laughs> I was trying to make it goldy and rub all the gold off and maybe give it a bit of a rustic kind of thing to it. Same with down here. It's all worn off, unfortunately. But, hey, it still looks pretty cool, in, in my opinion. So this is <clears throat> this is a gear for music. Uh, they call it a Brooklyn guitar, but we all know it's an SG. It's a tasty, tasty red SG. Um, so this again has had stuff done to it. Uh, one of the main, one of the first changes I did to it on the back. Uh, this has actually been wear, surprisingly, but uh, I took the um, the finish off the back of it, so. It, because it's really sticky, more sticky than I've ever had, really had a neck. So I took that all off, and it's a lot more faster moving. And it's still got all the same same setup and stuff with it, apart from when I got it. I don't know if you can see it, it would be better with some sort of light. But when it's on rhythm, which is this one here, um, it's on the bridge pickup. And if you switch it to the treble, it's on the rhythm pickup, which is a bit strange. 
I don't know why that's like that, but obviously someone's messed with it. Uh, got the whole tunomatic and that comes default with it all. It's got some custom wound pickups in it, or a custom wound pickup in it, uh, which is this one. Uh, it's just I just made it so that it was really hot and high output, which is something I really liked. Put a bit of tape over it to make it look nice. Um, and on this one, I've simply just taken. So, so I've just simply taken out the pull pieces. These three I couldn't get out because they were a pain in my ass. Uh, but I've taken the pull pieces out, and it because of the double winding, but the single coil like uh, like pickup just gives it that raw sound, but with a really beefy high output kind of sound, which is. Some, uh, you know, you can always experiment with these kind of things, it's all up to you. has all kinds of Chinese and all that kind of stuff down there. Um, so it was red to begin with. I drew the rows on it and all that kind of stuff, and I thought it looked pretty sweet. And then I fucking went over it with a bit of uh, metallic green paint, shininess of it. So that's my second guitar I ever got. I used this for a long time. I used this in one band, and... Uh, just to tell you, it's a, for everything, it was a thrash metal band. And I played a lot of blues as well, honestly. That worked. It worked well. Really good. Right. This is a Challenger. Challenger? Challenger. Uh, Challenge VP bass. Not a PV, but a VP. Uh, yeah, it's just a four string bass. We've got three strings out now because it's broken. I need to fix it. Um, yeah. So it's, um, it's a shot. So, is it? I think it's a shorter scale length uh, than most bases, but it's also got a really small body. It's got a guitar sized body. When you see, like, uh, say, a uh, Fender Precision bass, for example, they've got massive bodies. This doesn't. No. You blend uh, your blend knob, your volume knob, and your tone, which is uh, just standard. It's really hard to see because it's all black, so I have to carry and get a bit of reflection on it. Uh, you've got your two pickups here, and then you've got your inline pickup here, and there's the really annoying odd tuner because I broke it. Guitars go through a lot of wear and tear. Um, I've got to find places to put all these while I'm looking. There. This is my unbranded uh, acoustic that was given to me. Uh, my uncle had it, who was given to him by his uncle. But he never played it, so uh, he gave it to me. It is model number G101. And there's no branding on the headstock or inside. So it's got some ivory tuners on there. I think that's what it is. Probably plastic, to be honest. But try and mock ivory uh, tuners on there. Uh, again, this named after someone. This was named after my friend Angel. It's got an A on it. Um, so yeah, this is just your average guitar, but then uh, again, I feel the need to spruce things up and look fabulous. So I got some, uh, this is what I was saying with the other guitar, I got wrapping paper. Paste it all up, wrapping paper, little craft things. I got some dominoes and all this shit like that, and I've drawn on it. It's, it's a hug guitar, it needs hugs. It needs your hugs now, donate, give me money. No. Um, it's got your uh, trapeze uh, uh, tailpiece on it, and then you've got your usual acoustic bridge. It's it's got a good good sound to it. I'll, I'll play a C. Nobody ever plays a C. So it's got a really nice full sound to it for being as small it is, and in my opinion, it's quite bright for chords. But if you're doing single, you know, it's a singular singular notes, it's not as good, but, you know, it's like the bloody, you know, the duck hooking game. Uh, right, this is, uh, you know, I think, honestly, this is just a parts guitar, because the neck was a, it wasn't an Ibanez like it looks, it was a, a, a capier, 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 something like that, um, I don't know. I'm not sure if it came together, it might have been. I haven't seen it before, but uh, yeah. So this was given to me by
by my ex's father um, as like a, a project to do because he had one but eventually that got given to me and that was I'll show you that in a second um, but yeah this is an RG type guitar uh, Ibanez RG type guitar the flower on it is supposed to be like a, a mock of uh, Steve Vai's flowery guitar it does it alright I mean it looks alright but yeah uh, it came with some uh, uh, the pickups in it were all right, but they weren't that good, and they were all rusted and shit like that. I think this pickup is the only one that was originally in it. Uh, these are some. This is a the original pickup out of my SG that I showed you just down there before I made a custom world one, and this is a a Ibane, Ibanez GIO pickup, I think. Uh, and I put a golden cover on it because I thought it looked sexy. So it's got yeah, it's got an official Floyd Rose on it. Uh, I can't show you on here because it's like across there. But it's uh, it says, and you can quote me, licensed under Floyd Rose parts. I painted over the fretboard with a metallic purple, which you can't really see unless there's a light on it, which makes really good for like shows and stuff. It's like, oh look, it's just a normal guitar, and then as soon as the lights on, it's like. Purple. I had to wire it all up again and I didn't do it very well so it's got a setup and this is uh, ah there we go uh, you've got a five way selector switch I messed up the wiring so this is these two pickups that is all on and that, that, and that is these two pickups I messed it up and because I had no uh, volume pots at the time I just added in See if I can swing around it. A little tiny kill switch. 24 fret instead of just standard Ibanez. Uh, those are scalloped. Just like uh, a gem would be. I don't know if I can get that in. There you go. I haven't done that well because my uh, my valves get breaking in half after a while. Which, uh, it's quite beefy. Uh, I don't know. I like playing it. It's a good fun mess around. Maybe toy with the treble a little bit. And uh, do some dive bombs and crap like that. It's 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 fun to play with. You can even do the Steve Vai kind of. Oh, oops, just that one. Don't fall, or I will kill you. And then we. Oh, this is a 1960s. Uh, if you can see that satellite uh, Les Paul uh, mock-up. It's the closest I've actually seen to a close to a. Um, a Les Paul mock-up actually. The local second-hand stores and I was just playing around with some guitars, some Les Pauls that they had there. And uh, I saw this one and I thought it looked amazing. I mean, who could say no to that? Yeah, you've got your um, vintage uh, mini bookers there. I, th I think that's what they are, because they're smaller than normal pickups. They're really small. But anyway, yeah, it's a uh, full on as well, for those people wondering. But yeah, they've got the mini mini bookers, which sound amazing, especially in a Vox AC30. Um, but yeah, I saw this, and uh, when I started playing it, no no sound came out. So I was like, oh, it's a bit broken. So again, without going through the whole story, I told them what was up with it, and uh, I, they sold it to me for a bit cheaper. So I managed to pay, it was 50 quid, I think. 50 quid around about. And I paid 20 quid off the deposit. And then, uh, I forgot, but I went to um, I went to Spain sometime after that. I went to a holiday for Spain for a week. Um, so I completely forgot about this guitar. Um, <clears throat> and me and my girlfriend had, or ex-girlfriend rather, had our fallouts when we were there. You know, it was a bit hard. And um, yeah, I went... When I got back, that's the first place I went. I went straight over to her house. And uh, little did I know, this this little beauty was sat in the corner. And I was thinking, that looks a lot like the guitar I purchased in the, uh, in, the sh in the store the other day. And um, she was like, yeah, I paid the rest of the, the deposit off. And I was like, all right, that's, that's really sweet. So I count this as like... Um, because it was still 30, 
30, 40 quid. Still quite expensive, especially for us being, you know, in college and that. <clears throat> so I took it as a really special gift, and that's what it is now. I put strings on it and um, play it more often, but uh, the neck came really, the frets on it were really bad. And I, yeah, I did a really bad <laughs> refretting job myself. There isn't even a fret there. Uh, and it was really crap, and I need to go and get it redone, because I love this guitar. Um, I replaced the neck with the, with the Encore, and it sounded great. I forgot how much I love this guitar, but hey, I'm sure I'll get it fixed at some point. So yeah, you've got your, your speed knobs as well, and all the rest. Uh, some, some, I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be, but they're tuners, and they're quite nice. It does a really good job of staying in tune as well, and with it being uh, 1960s, it's quite collectible. So I'm glad I got it. Wait, what's after that? Then after that, I got this. I mean, in in between this, I tr I, uh, I borrowed a Ibanez S. Uh, wait, Ibanez R. R. C. So, run out of memory. So many things are going wrong in this video. Anyway, I was out of this guitar, and I can't remember quite where I was talking about it. I'll go over it just quickly again, it's KPR. Uh, uh, yeah, and that is, I'm not sure whether it's the same body that came with it or what, I have no clue. Some of these guitars I just have no idea about. Um, but I know it's a custom body because I've never seen one like this again, but it's got the Ibanez GIO or Pacifica, uh, Yamaha Pacifica kind of setup or strat, I suppose. So many guitars have this setup. There's only a few that define it. Actually, a proper beast as well. Uh, turned up, it's really uh, in your face. Um, this is also a uh, official slow draw. Let's see if I can get it in focus this time. There you go. The inlays. Either like really cool, snazzy inlays or no inlays. Um, <clears throat> like on Gibson's, I like the. The, the block the block inlays like on the um, vintage one. But other than that, I, I prefer you know inlays that are out of way or no inlays at all. This was my fiance's father's favorite guitar. He never wanted to let this go, and look where it is. It's with me, and um, I said I'd take care of it, and it would always be my baby as well. So I just love it. I mean. Look at it, it's so damn cool. There's no lacquer, or, or I think there's some sort of lacquer. Sorry, this is turning that in. Can't tell if that's coming off or not. Oh, okay, it's coming off. Um, I, I don't think it's got any lacquer on it. It's so matte. It's, it's really cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So after that one, uh, everything went downhill with everything. So that's why my ex is my ex. And I just felt, meh about music, I didn't pick it up again. And then um, I just wandered into a store and I saw this guitar. This, I'll bring that out now. I saw this guitar here. And um, i put this one on because I can, I don't have to hold it the whole time. But um, I went into the shop and <clears throat> I found it. And I was like, you know, I haven't played guitar in a while, I might as well give it a go, show off with it. Show off a bit, see if I still got my uh, my talent, as, as I guess. <laughs> I don't, I didn't know quite how to put that, but um, so I went in, I plugged this into a a dime, small old practice amp they had, and um, it was this guitar when I was playing it, I just found it so easy to play, and uh, so I decided to buy it. It was uh, fifty quid. It's a, it's, it's a chord, it's got a cool little thing, and it's a Legend 59, I think it says, move, Legend 59, and yeah, I just fell in love with this, this brought me back to, to music again, this brought me back to playing, so, this is a special guitar as well, this is my baby, this is my one shot, this is a guitar I play 
everywhere. But yeah, it's got kind of um, kind of a fatty neck on it, like the same as a, like a maybe not a sixties, possibly a fifties type Les Paul. It's got the chrome inlays. I changed the pickups up a bit. Uh, you've got a uh, I can't remember which, quite which ones these are, but I think this one is a dime back or a dime bucker, whichever you want to say. And this one I think is an Onico Pro Two. It could be the other way around. I can't quite remember. Uh, I think the top one's an Onico Pro, to be honest, because it has that kind of goldy bronzy glow to it but I, I don't know i got my my also cool rainbow strap Take this off now. sounds awesome it's loud it's proud and it's mine i decided to go out and uh, pick myself up a, a cheap strap this was um 20 it was 25 and i i bought it for 20 i think yeah, 25 and I bought it for 20. Um, it, it used to be a... I can't remember what it used to be. Oh, my eyes. It used to be um, a branded, but since it being a customer, I decided to take the branding off. Oh, easy playing. Uh, it's got your standard Stratocaster setup with the three. Um, oh, what was it? Uh, three single cords. I always forget. Uh, just the standard issue block tuner uh, trim, but uh, actually it turns out that block trams or with the block uh, saddle pieces uh, you can retain a bit better tuning with these apparently it's true, maybe, maybe not so it's, um, it's either a metallic sea foam or a metallic um, Trident. I think that's it. Trident or something like that. Anyway, I've, it's a car paint because it's the only thing we had around my area. But anyway, that's not stupid. Ex stupid expensive. Yeah, it's metallic enough. Put some weird white stripe thingies on it. It was just a. I just wanted to do something with the guitar, and I thought this is the perfect color for it. What to do now? I know. I just put some white on it. It's got a white back. So. Yeah, it's a bit cloudy there. I could have done that better, but... Yeah, it's a bit cloudy there as well. I could have done it better, but it was my first... It's my paint virgin taking guitar. Before it had paint, it was really jangly and horrible, and... It was just pain to the ears. It wasn't very good. But then when I put the paint on it, because this kind of paint kind of locks it in, and, and just changes the tone and now it's so much more beefier I guess is, is the word dare I say girth? no uh, there is never a time talking about guitars to say girth but um, it just gives it so much more tone and so much more beef that it didn't have before oh yeah and it's got a really cool flamed maple neck as well which I fucking love oh nom nom noms um this pickup cover's fallen off it. Oh, fallen away from the pickup for some reason. I think. I don't know if it's LA. It is a Hondo 2 Les Paul looking thing. Um, yeah, I got this recently. This was surprisingly £20. So I got this as a fucking bargain and I love it. I mean, how can you not love that? I say that about all my guitars, but how can you not love that? It looks so cool. Um, anyway, this... Not really much has been done to it as of yet. It's really... Yeah. Um, yeah, not really much has been done to this besides I'm changing a pickup. Um, I might put a ring on this. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I've got a, for some reason I've got a black speed knob and I've got a speed knob from the satellite because the other one fell off or somewhere. I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Uh, the only real thing that I've changed to this, besides 
royally uh, fucking up the uh, wiring inside <laughs> is that I was putting in a pickup, which is my homemade, which I'm testing out with this guitar, my homemade sustainer pickup. Uh, you can't really see it because I've got the cover on. I can't really pull out the cover. But I've replaced the top pickup um, four pieces. Uh, made a hole through it and shoved in a, a, a lump of metal. I've obviously done the appropriate wiring to it to make it sustain you. And I've already fucked it up because I haven't quite got a place for um, a battery or anything yet. But that should be done shortly. That's all my 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 gits that are up in here. Um, I'll probably have another acoustic. But since this is such a different video to my channel, uh, I was wondering if you'd like to see more music videos, like if I was to play some songs or something and show off a guitar every once in a while, maybe do a, a personal review dedicated to that one guitar, maybe. Uh, it's up to you, but also if you want to see what, like, uh, what setup I'm running, like what I'm doing downstairs, all my amps and stuff, uh, then, you know, I'll feel free to say, you know, I'll go make that video and it'll be good. And you Baby acoustic. <coughs> Oh, that is so cool. And I'll be like, 